This tutorial is going to show you how you can use the color overlay to edit an image. So the example we're going to use today is the lemon and we are going to use Pixlr and you want to go ahead and open up the editor. So what you'll need to have is on your computer, you want to have some pictures of the lemon or the orange um, or any kind of fruit that you'd like to use stored. So you want to go ahead and open up your image. And then if you just find where about on your computer you have got it stored. So I'm going to use that one. Now the only section that I want to use today is this segment over here. So I'm just going to zoom in um, to that part that I want. Just so I can see it a bit easier on my screen. Right, so the first thing that we want to do is before we overlay the color, if we're going to put a color on top of this, then some of this yellowy orange color is going to show through. So we want to desaturate the color here. So the first thing we're going to do is use the wand tool and we're going to select the segments here. Now, the way the wand tool works is it selects a color range. Um, so you might need to play around with the tolerance when you do this. So if I go ahead and click on here, you can see it's collect, selected some of the area on here, but there's bits missing. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and undo that and just put the tolerance up a little bit. And then we'll try that again. So this time you can see it's selected that whole segment that I want. So I'm happy with that. What I want to do now is go into adjust here in saturation and I'm going to put the saturation down. And then apply. Okay and then you can go ahead and deselect that section. So what we're gonna do now is create a new layer that we can put our colors onto. So up to layer, new layer, and then you'll see over here, it's popped up here. We're gonna take each section one segment at a time. So if I go back and show you the example, I'm gonna start at the top and work our way around doing a different color for each section. So this time we're going to use the lasso tool. So this is this little tool over here. And there's different options for this tool at the top here. We want to use the polygon tool. Now you choose one section and click. And then you'll see you get your dotted line and you just make little clicks all the way around. Until you've got your whole section selected. Okay. And then you're going to go over to your colors over here. And I'm going to start off with red. So I'll just move that back there. Okay. And you're looking for the paint bucket. And you're going to click in there and it's going to put it on. Now, we want to be able to see the detail coming through. So you go over to your layers over here and the three dots on the side to toggle. And what we want to do is we want to go to blend mode and we're looking for overlay. And you can see what that does is rather than just putting the color blocked in on top, it overlays the color on top of the, the image already. Okay, so if I get rid of that, and I'm gonna make a new selection now. So I'll just go to deselect and make sure I'm on my polygon tool. This one here is the freehand. If you choose that one, um, it gives it will work, but it gives you um, not as neat of a line. So the polygon tool is the easier one to use. So again, going to start making my selection. And back over to the paint bucket. And um, this time I want to go maybe slightly pink. Okay, click on the paint bucket and put it in. Now when you're doing your colours, we're making a color wheel of selected colors here. So you need to make sure that they go in the right order. So make sure that your red, yellow and blue are divided like that for your primary colors and that your secondary colors, purple, orange and green are in between. So just make sure that you've got this um, image here to refer to when you're doing this. Um, right, so go ahead and deselect and back to your polygon tool and go ahead and do the next ones.
Now I'll just show you on this one, if you accidentally don't make a good selection, like can you see I've just missed a little bit of the corner right there, what you can do is your tools up here is you can add to your selection. So if I go into that one and I want to just make that a little bit more accurate, it lets you add on. So you want to go ahead and fill out the rest of your colours. So you can see I've gone ahead and put some of the rest of the colours in um, and just looking back at my reference image, so I've just finished up to green now, I want to go on to yellow, I've got three segments left so if I go on to yellow and then I can finish off with an orange and that will meet back up on my red. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished putting all of the sections in. At this point, if you feel that one of your colours kind of doesn't sit right in this field and you want to just change the shade of it a little bit, what you can do is go back and use your magic wand tool. So the magic wand tool will select a colour range. Um, so say, for example, you thought, oh, this green, I don't quite like it and I want to make it a bit more turquoisey. You can just click on that and it should select your whole shape and then go into your colour picker and you can find a shade that you think is more appropriate. So maybe I'll just make that a little bit more turquoise and go to your paint bucket and just chuck that on top. So it's just made that a little bit more blue there. Right, so what we can do now is some of the colours are coming a little bit more brightly. So I'm just going to play around with opacity a bit so that we can make sure that this sits as best as it can. So we've got the overlay mode on and I'm going to go ahead, I'll just play with the transparency here and you'll see if I put that right down, it makes your colours um, more opaque. So I think if I put it in a bit like that, that just brings the colours up. So if you see the difference, it was a yellow that I wasn't too happy with before. It was like this where I couldn't really see the lines at all. So I'm just going to move that down a little bit. Um, and there we go. So if I just zoom back out and that is how you do your colour overlay into your image. So what you want to do now is make sure that you've saved your file. So go into file, save. And because we're finished this with, with this image, we're not going to do anything else. You can save it as a JPEG and I'll just save that as and you click on to the download. High resolution is fine. Download it and then you'll see it's popped up here onto my computer.